Virgo. What is the word, yo? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vira. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. And I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Just to let you know what the energy is surrounding you for the month of May 2020. Show me the money energy. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked, subscribed, or liked any of these videos at any point of time and has shown any type of support and love to my page. Um, I want to give a big shout out to T Street. I want to give a shout out to Miss Renee. I want to give a big shout out to Savannah, to Mr. Dennis. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, ooh, there's a whole, there's like four other, uh, there's four other people that I want to give a big shout out that's been showing a lot of support and love to the page um, over the past couple of weeks that we've been in a lot of close connections. I want to give a big shout out to all of you guys that has been booking personal private readings because it has made it possible for us to have this deck right here, which is the Muse Tarot deck. And thanks to Mr. Dennis, we got like five new decks that is about to come through. He just showed a big show of love and support to this page so to each and every one of those names that I just named and to everybody else that I just couldn't remember your name um, uh, Miss Adonica um oh my goodness who else oh my goodness I, I'm just uh shout out to my baby out there in Sydney Australia um ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just like why am I forgetting y'all's names it is blowing me right now um Miss Vincent out in Australia you know exactly who I'm talking to baby um Miss Tisha Miss Tisha I'm sorry y'all I'm just anyway I love all of you guys um it's too many names to just think of but I just want to say thank you so much to all of you guys for showing so much love and support to me during this time and um we just got a lot more beautiful cards, a lot of beautiful love coming to the page. And I just want to say thank you to every last one of y'all who has been showing support and love to Scorpion Red Tarot at, during this time. Um, so we, today we're going to be using the Muse Tarot. This is a beautiful, beautiful deck, y'all. I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all are going to love it. And um, if anyone wants to book a personal private reading with me, you can do so by clicking that about tab. It has my pricing list there. Um, and um, if you want to send any type of support to the page, um, all of that information is on about tab. And again, you know, anytime y'all show me love, I always send you love right back. So um, again, thank you all. If you guys want to reach out to me, the best way to reach out to me is uh, message me on Instagram or to use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. If you don't have Instagram, you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and send me a message on Google Hangouts so we can do the video chats that way if you don't have um, uh, Instagram. So like we always do, we're going to get thanks to an acknowledgement and praises up to the creator um uh let me think was there any other announcements i don't think so so yeah let's just give some praises up right now father god thank you so much for just being here right now for this time in need and this time of speed for the sign of virgo um we just needing things to just kind of rapidly pick up i know a lot of us have been feeling a little stagnant and still right now and a lot of people are just ready for things to get going uh, we just want to make sure that everyone is in a safe and sanitary environment and that everyone is doing what they need to do to make sure that it's okay for us to step back out into these streets um father god thank you so much for keeping us covered with all of the assets and resources that we need during this time father god thank you so much for keeping us in safe healing and in safe spaces um thank you so much for us being able to collect ourselves for being around family and true love and even if we're not around family and true love we're recognizing that we need to make steady changes and movements to keep ourselves around places that we need Need to be in around people that feed our soul in the name of Jesus. Father God, continue to give us healing, for, continue to give us strength, and continue to give us dedication along our journey. Give us guidance for the sign of Virgo for May 2020. Show me the money energy. We want to make sure everybody that's in our path shows us their worth before we even entertain them in 2020. Yes, God. Amen. Let's get into this reading. All right. Yes, yes. So let's start on over here. Here. Looks like we're going to the love oracle. We jumping right on into the love oracle for y'all. Okay, come on now. Virgo, what is the word, y'all? What is the word, Virgo? Let's see. 
I'm seeing the number three. And the number three. Self expressions. That's why it's like, and then I just seen nature just popped up. Okay, all right. So, okay. They just said somebody is a naturalist. All right. Duality, finding balance. A lot of that damn root chakra there. Okay, you red, hot, hot, like hot, <laughs> hot, like fire. I'm gonna take you, take you higher. Okay, you can't resist this kiss, kiss, and kiss it. Yes, girl. Look, five, five. Look, you shouldn't rush it. Take our time. Okay, girl, you better listen. I'll let you know when I'm ready. And that's all right. Come on, Aaliyah. What does it say here? Ooh, darkest fears. You guys have overcome y'all darkest fears and y'all done found some balance? Oh, man. Okay, you guys are not repeating cycles. Y'all faced y'all darkest fears during this time, huh? Okay, load up the gap. I will reload it. Okay, okay, I will reload it. Okay, now I see why y'all said it going over there to that love oracle deck. Because y'all said I've been in this motherfucking level myself. I've been finding peace and balance. I've been getting my root chakra all in together, girl. Come on, all right? I got this shit rolling in a full circle. Ugh, I can't even talk a full circle. New vitality. Base chakra, sadness and loneliness. Okay, all right, I'm understanding right now. I am understanding. So right now, you guys are preparing yourself and getting some understanding on how to call in this new vitality. Y'all are trying to sing to a new song, to a new beat. Do you understand? You guys are preparing right now. You're still coming to a full level of understanding, number one, by strengthening that number one, that root chakra, that base chakra. Okay? Knowing exactly who I am. Who am I? All right? You say as you look in the mirror, who am I? All right? Am I sure of who I am? Am I rooted? Am I grounded? Am I stable? Do I feel protected in that? Okay? Because I can't fool nobody. And I surely can't fool myself. Because if I'm in this place of sadness and loneliness, listen. All right? Listen. If I am more given to this place of sadness and loneliness, baby. I will never truly rise up out of it. This right here being in the reverse is showing me you're not giving your energy to resting in a place of sadness and loneliness. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. It looks like you have faced your darkest fear. You're no longer giving to that. You no longer find joy in that. You don't even communicate to the spirit world in that way. You had to sit yourself down during this time, right? We've all been sitting down and we had to face our inner darkest fears. Whatever that has been, it's been circling your mind, your body, and your soul that you ain't want to face. All right. Looking at that shadow energy. Why am I feeling? Listen, why am I not using my vessel to call in all of the blessings right now? What is stagnating me? What is it? Having to find balance. And it's sadness and loneliness. You guys don't even talk about anything no more. That makes you feel sad and lonely. Y'all don't vibrate in that way at all. You understand? You no longer give communication to people that make you feel sad and lonely. Not ever. Face that innermost darkness. And we're over that. We don't even communicate in that way. That is something that we had to get ourselves rooted in. In order to sing this new tune. So, you're being prepared, mon frere. You are being prepared, mon frere. Okay? To be able to sing a new song. Right now, you are learning a new song. All right? <laughs> learning a new song. <laughs> okay, now they're singing to me. The, the wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> Looking at what, what's the part where they be like, uh, the driver on the bus said, Move on back, move on back, move on, but the driver on the bus said, Move on back. Oh, the town telling whoever's on the bus, 
And then you trying to get on this bus? Look, you gotta move on back for a minute. I'm driving. You understand what I'm saying? I am driving. You know? Have you ever tried to be behind a car and, 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 and drive a car and you're crying about something? Like, I almost got into a car crash that, that way one time. And I had to pull over and get myself rooted and get, look, myself, number one, two and together. Because at the end of the day, girl, you better stop lifting yourself up and have some discernment and stop even communicating with this person that is keeping me. Why am I keep? Why am I giving myself to this person? Look, the throw chakra. Why am I communicating with this person? Listen, this is the number three. It's communication. You got to look at appropriate communication. If I was not giving myself negatively and communicating with someone that had me feeling sad and lonely, I would have not been in that state of darkness thinking about the communication that was just had that had my mind drifting like this and I would have not almost got my ass in that car crash. Listen, listen to me when I tell you. Ooh, ooh, damn. Okay. Oh, the emperor. Yes, ma'am. Was that on that film? Okay, you better fall like that. You better fall like that. The Six of Cups. Okay, giving and receiving in the name of Jesus. In the chat. Oh, no. Okay. 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 Listen. Virgo ain't came here to play today. Listen, it's not came here to sing a new song, baby. I've come here to sing a new song. Okay? The Emperor song. The Emperor song of the past time. Where there was real love. But it was real giving and receiving where emperors really sat on their throne and took care of the whole village. Do you understand what I'm saying? A past time, something that was passed down to them, a long lineage, a strong men. Do you understand? Honorable men. Protectors, providers. Okay? The football coach, the soccer coach, the baseball coach, and the basketball coach. Oh, no, he's good at every last one of those sports, honey. And don't even let it fuck it up and go in the wintertime and we go play some ice hockey, okay? All of the kids love him, all right? He is something to be admired. He is something to be cherished. He is something that they write legends of. And it looks like whoever this emperor is, is thinking about their children and giving and receiving all of that wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, masculine, macho, passionate energy down to their children and to their lineage and making sure that they could come. It's something about someone... New vitality. It's something about the way and the nature of the way people... And it's, it's about these songs and stuff. That's not love. That's not something that... It's like needing to go to the old school. You know what I'm saying? This is what this is telling me. This is about a past time. This is back in the old school. Like, this is someone... This is a young man. And as you can see, this is a young man. But he is most definitely a new age emperor. Okay, he got an old spirit with himself. He remember all them old real love songs. Isley Brothers. You understand what I'm saying? Parliament Funk. Do you understand? Like real soul. Aretha Franklin. Patty and LaBelle. Uh, uh, Frankie Beverly and May Sade, honey. Do you understand the OJs? Do you understand? Okay. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Real love and happiness. I, come on, Al Green. All right? Love and happiness. Hey, okay, come on. <laughs> love will make you do wrong. <laughs> yes, come on. Yes, he's giving me old school cat daddy. Listen, he is coming on down the road. Okay? I don't know who he is coming to get at this time, but he is coming to give some of that old school passion that people don't forgot about that old school love. Do you understand? When men used to look, cherish their women, you know, that was very, very strong, very vibrant, very regal. You understand? Very regal. We'll pull up in their chariot, come up and introduce themselves to their mama, to the girl mama and daddy. Take her out on a nice date. Make sure she don't be late. Bring her back in on time. Impress the parents. That's, that's, that's this right here. 
that is this. He, I, now I'm getting it. It's like he don't even want to sing that old thing. He don't want to sing that, 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 uh, these new songs. He wanted, he, he's, he done sat there. It's some, somebody done sat there and listened to <laughs> some old school music. Cause that old school music will really make you think about your life and make you really think about everything. Make you go through some emotions. Look, this shit that you listen to now, this, that shit don't make you go to, through no real emotions. This, that dumb new age communication music and stuff that still be making you want to give yourself freely to someone that be making you feel sad and stuff. Hold on. Um, what, what's that song? Um, who is this song that I hate? It's some rap song talking about my girl's a side bitch or something. Oh my God. I just, I cannot. I really cannot with today's music. And I'm really understanding what this man is saying. He's like, uh-uh, that love and happiness, that for real, okay? Love and happiness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, listen. Optimism that yellow. Hey, come on. I'm sorry. That got me jamming. That's in my head. I'm serious. Like, who is this playing this old school music? Listen, yellow, confidence, successful, happiness, optimism. I'm trying to tell you, this man has been playing chess. Not checkers. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, this is a very smart man. This is very old school. Very old school tradition. Very passionate. This is a man very rooted in marriage. This man has come over many, many hardships. And he has learned how to pick through those thorns to get to the sweetest berries. Okay? Like midnight cherries. Just dark as the night. But sweetest juice you've ever had in your life. Okay? This man is not in a union right now. Okay? This is an emperor that is not in a union right now because he needs somebody with some old school value that cherishes old school ways of real love and happiness real giving and receiving that have old school traditions with them that's who he's looking for do you understand he's looking for some type of old school tradition something that he knows without having to go through those trials and tribulations of hardship because he said you know with true love ain't that hard to find True love ain't that hard to find, and you ain't got to go through so much to get it. Lord Jesus, tell him, come on, Father. Come on, speak, little man. Who is this? Who is this? Listen, the rainbow. He said, honey, I'm, I'm the one that has been through a refresher of renewal. Okay? I have rejuvenated my energy. And honey, what I'm trying to tell you, I'm coming through royal and regal. You better believe me. I'm flying high like a goddamn seagull, baby. Come on now. Speak your shit. Speak your shit. Come on now. Alright. Come on. What are you saying here? Coins. Alright. This Virgo has been focusing on the earth. Okay, collecting coins, working on their worth, working on their dignity, and filling their pockets up. All right, they got a whole new frame of mind, and they do not waste their time. And they damn sure do not waste the time. You better come on here. He said, I ain't, I, I ain't worried about no union right now. All right, because I have not unlocked that treasure yet. Somebody. They haven't received someone that is worthy of that key to their heart yet. They need someone with some old-fashioned values. Do you understand? They have gone through what they needed to go through. And they faced their darkest fear to get new vitality. But when it comes with new vitality, it comes with a new beat and a new song. They said, I don't want to sing them old, um, these new school treasures. Mm-mm. I need something old. Mm-hmm. Give me guidance here. About this emperor. Give me guidance. Speak to me. Speak to me for this emperor. Tell me what this emperor got to say. They say he likes long nights and Chardonnay. Okay. What you got to say? I like long nights and Chardonnay. Yes, this is the king of creation. You see how you got that unk right there on his arm? Yes, he is... I, I really do feel like he's looking for a wife to like I want to say that he really does he's looking for a wife because he might be he might want to have like another child if he doesn't have a child already I definitely say um he's looking number one for a true friendship a true companion you know what I'm saying someone where there's not going to be no fights and no arguments and things like that this person is y'all already know Virgo came through 
a drama filled relationship that he just released himself from because this is definitely the male energy right here yes no arguing no fighting no listen the <laughs> Listen, Virgo said, listen, let me make myself clear. I've just released myself from hardships, from a hard-ass relationship that was some bullshit. Do you get me? I know exactly what I want. I'm a good man. I know my worth. I truly know my worth. I've been focusing on my money. I don't renew my life. I'm not ready to give anybody entry right now. I'm focused on my personal success and my happiness right now. I don't want any drama I don't want any conflict I don't want any um what am I trying to say here projected emotions people projecting their insecurity their falsehoods and their drama on me having to keep dealing with accusations and people no no I'm not dealing with any of that I'm not dealing with any of that at all I've gone through too much I just, I just refuse, I just refuse to go through that at this point in time in my life. Um, I leave, uh, I live a point of peace, and it looks like they're definitely moving, and they're steady moving, and there's steady movement in their life. It looks like they're at a point, and they're in a crossroads where they're making a decision. It looks like they're sitting on something until they can really see things clearly here. All right, so let's go on. And now that just I sat that right on top of the coin, so it means that they're stable and they just have support right now. And I don't feel that they have to make any movements right now. I see the magician right there on the bottom, but right here, this is the four of cups. So it's like whatever is being offered to them right now, this might be an offer that they might miss. It doesn't seem like they're too much interested in it. Um, it might be an opportunity that might seem opportune, opportune less. Exactly. They don't want it. They don't want it. Again, they don't want it. So whatever is being offered, it seems like there's going to be a refusal or someone that might be trying to make an offer to you right now. But they are stagnating this uh, because they feel like you're not going to get up. You're, you're, you're not budging. You're not making a decision. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, you could not be talking to someone while you're sitting down making a decision and it seems like you might not want to see someone at this point in time It looks like you might have your guard up right now And it's like you're not making a move in regards to whatever this thing is that is being offered Whoever's offering it, it looks like you're moving on elsewhere Something that reminds you of a past time where there was true love um, I don't see that you're moving and you don't even want to see this person right now. The magician, you are definitely using all your power, all of your energies. You have a lot of resources that have been granted to you and you are using them and you have a lot of strength and you feel very victorious right now. And everything that you do, like everything that you're doing is touching the gold. You know what I'm saying? This is a very positive reading. You have relieved yourself from a lot of stress and a lot of drama. Okay. What is this? Okay, so this is the uh, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So this could have been a divorce. There could have been a separation. If it was just two people just leave, living with each other, it looks like y'all are leaving and separating assets. And y'all are just um, putting your best foot forward and starting a new beginning here. Um, and this person is saying, I'm moving forward with the mag magician energy. I'm moving forward confidently. I am uh, materializing a lot of benefits through me having faith and determination for what I'm from where I'm going you know I have loyalty and respect for the universe and for everyone around me in my universe and I know as above so below what I put out I get back you know what I'm saying so I make sure that I'm surrounding myself around positive energy so that I can have positive results in everything that I'm doing you know what I'm saying and if you are surrounding yourself around negative people that is offering you bullshit that you don't even want you know what I'm saying your energy won't be better served to you or to anyone else better yet in your environment you know what I'm saying so instead of you just jumping out there and trying to make magic with people that shouldn't even be breathing your damn air I ain't going nowhere until I can see everything clearly. For a matter of fact, I don't even want to see you at all. I'm focusing on my money right now. It's too much drama surrounded around you. That's why I left. You know what I'm saying? Someone could have left with this shirt on their back. Whatever you bought me, bitch, I don't even want it. Okay? You got bad energy on it. I'm like, I'm manifesting. I'll uh, 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 wish on the star. I'll talk to God himself. And he'll bring me a new damn outfit. A whole new wardrobe. You can have all of that shit. I don't want none of that shit. I don't want nothing that reminds me of that hardship. I'm moving on. You know, confident, feeling determined, feeling blessed and free. 
I'm looking for that old school love. I'm definitely not looking for anything that's going to keep me in sadness. Look, I told you this person has been wishing. They have been following their intuition. Do you understand? Like, I don't know. Like, maybe. And you know what? The Scorpio moon is coming up. So, that is very much so in favors of Earth and water signs. So, I feel like all of the stars are in lines in your favor right now. These hardships are something that I feel like you might a little. Like, you might be used to at this point. That Scorpio full moon coming. And it's basically telling you to release things that are not serving you anymore. And just be thankful for everything that you know is soon to come. And that's why in that Empress, that Emperor energy right there, you are most definitely like feeling successful. Look, even you see the stars around him. He's a star. He's a star, and he's been using his energy to create magic. You understand? All of his wishes and everything that he's been praying for with that faith and everything and the star and, and, and the universal alignment around him because he was not willing to continue to put himself through drama and bullshit no more. Sometimes when you walk away from shit like that, even though you might lose something, you gain so much more, honey. You gain so much more. What does this say? Child. So this man might be child life, uh, ch child life. Yeah, he might be child like right now. Um, you know how like children are very curious little creatures, very uh uh ambitious. Am I saying that right? Ambitious, <laughs> very ambitious. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like they're very curious and ambitious little creatures. Like they're constantly moving along, picking up rocks, seeing what's under them, like discovering new things. I feel like you're in a new state of discovery. Like you feel real youthful and childlike right now. You feel like a new beginning. Yeah, the death card. You see the number 13? That represents death. So that represents new life to me. You understand? Like you're not in a place of uncertainty. You're in a place of you just having like an innocent level of freedom. You see all this yellow? You see how she has that yellow on her? So that might be some female Virgo as well. Listen, fish represents wealth and abundance and prosperity, longevity, everything's um, streaming up, uphill. I told y'all the coins was there to win. Listen, the ride. Y'all don't want no unexpected arrivals. Do you understand? You don't want no unexpected arrivals, no unexpected news that you were not looking for. So if I was not looking for you, do not show up on my doorstep. Thank you, and you have a good motherfucking day. All right? Any motherfucking communication that I want, trust me, I sent for it. And I, I'm not sending for nobody, okay? Not nobody right now. I'm sitting back listening to my old school music. Listen, with that nine of hearts right there with that writers, all of my wishes are being fulfilled. All my wishes granted. Okay? Feeling blessed and highly favored. Okay? Let's get this unicorn energy. And we about to get on up out of here. We about to get this unicorn energy. We got the cycles card. You guys are completing cycles. You are letting the universe guide you. All right? And letting the dear Lord provide for you. Come on now. It says everything has a right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's cycles. Okay, and I just told y'all on May the 7th is the full moon in Scorpio. All right, so the full moon in Scorpio. Let me actually go get my little book and see what exactly it says. Um, and you guys sent me this book as well. It's the um, Moonology deck. So again, and I believe that came from my baby girl, Callie. So I thank you guys so very much. Okay, so the full moon in Scorpio. It says the full moon in Scorpio is especially good for Taurus, Cancers, Virgos, Scorpios, Capricorns, and Pisces. Um, but it's more challenging for everyone else. It says the energy is rather intense. Top five questions. Have I been jealous, vengeful, suspicious, or otherwise behaved toxically? Number two. Have I been living out of fear rather than joy? Number three. Have I been brooding in dark? Okay. Focused on negative rather than the positive. Number four. Have I been cruel or cunning? Number five. Am I having the sex I need to feel good about myself? So have y'all been having sex with someone that you really have not been feeling fulfilled in? Do you understand? All right. So it says the message for this full moon in Scorpio is to bring the sexy back. Find balance. It says over intensity and lazy contentment. It says to forgive. Perform a full moon uh, forgiveness ceremony 
and it says also to perform a, a grateful ceremony so basically what it's what it's saying is to write what you're grateful for and um oh god those two different ceremonies Write what you're grateful for and write what you are trying to forgive and burn it. And release it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the cycle of the full moon and Scorpio energy that's coming around. So, I feel like I needed to let y'all know that. Let me um, see what the Spirit has to say about these cycles. I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise in the background, y'all. Oh, the sun. New birth and happiness. Okay, illumination, warmth. The summertime is going to be very, very popping for you guys. So whatever you guys have been rooted in this in this root chakra, whatever you guys have been wishing and praying and y'all been using that magician energy and that emperor energy, listen, you guys might be starting businesses and things like that. Listen, it says the night of inspiration. So a lot of shit is about to start popping off and start moving very quickly and a lot fast for you guys remember i said something about fast and i don't know why i'm talking so fast right now and the nine of emotions so you guys are completely emotionally covered like you guys are like floating in abundance and happiness and just rejoicing and energy of you just being successful by yourself like all of your wishes are being granted right now like god has been extremely favorable to you extremely favorable to you and things are about to start coming very very quickly let's do a quick love look i went through all of these decks you guys deserve it you guys have had the best reading i think <laughs> you guys that and that goes to show like when you make positive change in your life it does show in the cards if there's no drama, if you guys have been cleaning things up and there's newness coming into your life, new life. Listen, you got the child, new life, the son, new life. Look, you see how the girl is balanced with that yoga and everything? Watch me do that yoga. Listen, and I told you y'all were rooted in being balanced right there. And then remember, I was saying something about the wheels on the bus go round and round. And then you got the goddamn chariot card. Where in the hell was the chariot card? Child, listen, I ain't got time. You're about to just keep going. It says, healing heart. So, I don't feel like you guys are having to heal your heart no more. I feel like that's over. It says, healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship, or addiction. You guys are no longer healing. This isn't an act of healing. Like, it's done. You guys are not a victim to people's low-level seduction. People's low vibrational pull on you it's like you completely beat your addictions look karmic relationship you're not giving into karmic relationships no more listen cassette you don't want to hear that old music remember i told y'all y'all didn't want to hear that um y'all don't want to hear that music of whatever people are playing nowadays you don't want to hear that shit no more you understand the dragonfly be lighthearted. finding out things coming to light adapt change heal you guys are floating around and around water. So the dragonfly represents like water and air. So y'all pay attention. You guys might be having some communication in the future from a possible water or an air sign. Okay. And love. All right. Because you guys are definitely getting out of this. Uh, you guys are definitely out of that old shit. What is this saying? I'm trying to tell you. You guys might be hoovering over a relationship that you probably just don't even know. But it's saying a meeting, a conversation, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. You guys might end up by chance hoovering over somebody that you probably might have been around a lot. Y'all might have seen each other a lot. Every time I see this coffee, it's like somebody that... A place that you frequent all the time, have a grocery store, a Starbucks, a deli, um, like your favorite little quick snack shop or whatever, like, you know, these little gourmet pop-up eateries and things like that. Like, I feel like it's ever an air or a water sign. Okay, so air is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and of course, water is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you guys might bump into, that you guys might end up having quick communication that might lead into something a little bit more. All right, let's go into this and 
this is the last spread and we want to get out of here you guys have had a very very good reading very good reading you guys have uplifted uplifted yourself out of the sadness and isolation and stuff like that and you are like not even living in that space anymore you ready for things to pop off fast listen the page of swords like most definitely so the page of swords represents something young new interesting to you um something that you might want to engage in some research want to find out want to talk and communicate so there might be some new um interesting people that you might want to engage in might want to take a look into their social media page and see if you are like like minded people you know um i feel like there's somebody that's intriguing to this male um virgo here and this male Virgo was very spiritually intuitive right now. You see how this um, amethyst is on his butt? He's all about, like, peaceful understanding about earth, nature, spirituality, and listening to his intuition and, like, understanding his truth, you know, and being a very honorable and respectable young man. Um, This is someone that's, like, starting over with a whole new sense of discovery of life and of his youth, you know? His use is very important to him. The Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is uh, a, someone that might be holding back, that might be resistant to give information or time for some reason. They might be saving their money for the future and don't want to spend it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, this is a female energy. So, if this is the male Virgo energy, this is the female Virgo energy. So let's break it down like that. Um, the female Virgos, um, they are saving their energy and their time and their and their and their money. You know what I'm saying? Most of all, their money. We all know that Virgos right here, they've been focusing on their money and trying to sing a new song. Um, but I feel like they're not wasting their time and they might be holding themselves back because they only want to give their uh, self to things that is going to last for the future. You know what I'm saying? So it's like no point in me wasting my time talking to people and, you know, giving my energy to people that I really don't want to interact with. You know what I'm saying? Or that don't really increase the value of, of what I'm trying to do in my life right now. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like the male energies are, um, like finding new things to be, uh, interested in and exploring new ventures and new things i feel like y'all are very excited about this thing y'all might have also got some new gadgets or something like that i don't know if y'all might have got a new phone some new tool of communication or like a new watch or a new laptop or something like that like um you guys might be buying some new like state-of-the-art like it equipment oh and the two of cups <gasps> Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do like green eggs and ham. Girl, oh, uh, hold on. But this might be too lesbian style. This might be two lesbians. Two lesbians. So, y'all see the two women energy here. So, shout out to all my LGBTQ. IA community. All right. Shout out to all my baby. Shout out to all. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. What you doing, bitch? Listen. <laughs> hey, baby. All right. So it looks like here there's a masculine energy and there's a feminine energy. All right. And like I said, shout out to everyone in the LGBT community. Um, T community, so y'all know how that goes, the masculine and, fem and, and, and feminine energy goes. But then, in just in general, there's a male that is very intuitive, that is looking for someone like-minded, and, and it's, they're very open to communication and learning new things about new people. Um, yeah, just all about communicating. Like I said, coffee shops, like they just got out of some karmic bullshit. Um... They're definitely open to new love, and it seems like they're going to meet someone. Y'all are going to meet someone, like a fly-by-night type of situation. Like, I don't even think y'all were going to plan on going to this coffee shop or go to this grocery store or go to the 7-Eleven. It's like y'all might have just ran out to go pick up something for your mother or for a birthday party, just like some uh, birthday candles for one of the kids' birthday cakes for something like that or whatever and like y'all bump into this lady or this lady bumps into this man and he's like, hey, well, what's your number and everything like that? Like, yeah. 
blah, blah, blah. Like, I got a child, you know, about to have a birthday, too, in a couple of weeks or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Like, give me your number. She's just like, I don't know. Like, you know, I'm just kind of getting out of a hardship and everything like that or whatever. He's just like, man, listen, I'll take you out for some coffee. You know, shit, we just getting to know each other. Everybody been stuck in the house on the road. What would it hurt? What would it hurt? What would it hurt? Right? You got the lovers in between of you. So it's like, why you said that you were going to hold yourself back until you find the right communication? Right? This one is trying to get to know you. Really get to know you. I don't even think that this person, this page of cups right here, this person wouldn't even be remotely intrigued in you sexually if the communication is incorrect. That's just straight up and down like that. You understand? If you ain't talking about shit, you won't even make this person's dick hard. So it's like, don't even flatter yourself too much in thinking somebody is trying to get in your pussy or something like that. Or get in your pockets. Like, this person don't want your pockets. This person wants your mind. Only thing this person wants is to meet. You know what I'm saying? And to have some communication. And I really do feel like whatever it is that y'all meet, I feel like this girl, and she don't even know that she done bumped into a fucking emperor. At all. Like I said, this is going to be an unexpected meeting. An unexpected situation. Listen, what everyone's needs and, and wishes are going to be fulfilled, like, unknowingly. Like, this shit's just going to pop out of fucking nowhere. New life. A new innocent situation. Some, this, uh, oh, my God. This is beautiful, y'all. So beautiful. This person is going to hoover around this coffee shop until they bump into you again. You know how dragonflies hoover over water? Water is emotions. You see what I'm saying? It's like this person felt so emotionally fulfilled with you. A cup of joe will fill you up. Keep you nice and warm and toasty. Give you all that energy and everything. This dragonfly is going to hoover over this place. Kind of going to try to go back there every day at the same time just to see if they're going to bump into you again. And they are. And this is going to turn into something that y'all didn't even know. Chance meeting. Turns into a love of a lifetime. Y'all, I am done with you guys. I love you. Love you. Virgo, I love y'all. Thank you guys for loving me. If this video resonates, click the like button. Y'all stay rooted. Y'all stay grounded. Get out of that sadness and that isolation. Y'all say we ain't doing that shit no more. I'm reaching for the sky. I'm coming up high. Y'all email me when this new love comes. Y'all email me. I am safe and feeling like this is certain. Anyway, I love you guys. Y'all hit that like button. Y'all share this video. Peace.